Good evening, everyone. This is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Tonight is my weekly um, Design with Debbie. I almost lost the title there. Design with Debbie, where I listed everything that you need so you can create a card along with me if you choose to. So let me give everybody a few seconds to join me. Okay, looks like everybody's coming on. Before I get started, I'm hoping tonight, uh, because of the fluke from last night and my uh, door prize drawing today, that there will be no confetti going through my screen or some blackouts. Um, I did find a new confetti setting on my phone that was switched on, so I took care of that, I hope. So I just want to remind everyone, this is my new hostess code for the month of October. And everyone that uses the code when placing a $50 or more order, you guys get grouped into workshop mode and I award all of the hostess rewards to everyone that uses this code. So you earn free products from me that I mail to you. Now also, um, this month is going to be the Hung With Care. Um, I'm going to draw this as a door prize after the month has completed. So anyone that places an order, doesn't matter what type or how much, and that includes Paper Pumpkin customers of mine, um, your name will be entered to win this stamp set in my door prize. Okay, so let's get going tonight on the Design with Debbie class. Um, I listed all of the supplies that you guys needed. I think it was yesterday. So let me go over those again. We got Cajun Craze 11 by four and a quarter score. And I'm going to score this at five and a half as we get going. Oh, thanks for all the love already, you guys. And don't forget to share my video so I can pick your name maybe for to win the card that I'm creating tonight. Next layer is Granny Apple Green. This measures four by five and a quarter. And then we've got designer paper, um, and you can use whatever designer paper you want. This one measures um, five by three and three quarter. A little piece of the Joyous Noel Glimmer Paper, half an inch by three and three quarter. I want to stop for a second and just show you this Joyous Noel Glimmer Paper. I've showed it before. I just want you to see how pretty that is. So you've got the green, the red, and the copper. Fabulous colors to use for your Christmas cards. For scrap cardstock, we need Grapefruit Grove, Mango Melody, Whisper White, and granny apple green. And then I also am using a piece of whisper white that measures three and three quarter by two. Now let me move these so I can show you what else. Ink colors, mango melody, gray granite, granny apple green, and Cajun craze. Aren't those colors pretty together? So you probably guessed that we're making a fallish card, which we are. And then I've also got some glimmer enamel dots. Those are so pretty. And then for stamps, I've got all of these stamps from the Falling for Leaves stamp set. And then the coordinating dies. Now, when I gave you guys the list, this die wasn't showing on my photo for some reason, and that's from the same uh, detailed thinlets dies, detailed leaves. So let's get started. We are going to use the Big Shot tonight. I know there are some of you out there that like to see me cut. And then this is the card we're going to be creating. Look at all the fabulous colors. Don't they look good together? And I like the way the leaves are layered. So let's get started. First off is Cajun Craze. We're going to score that at five and a half. Can everybody else hear me? Because Sandy's saying she can't hear me. I'm assuming it's your the volume on your end, Sandy, and not mine. Okay, so I've gone ahead and scored this at five and a half. 
And if, I'm, and if anyone's stamping with me, let me know so I can slow down. I'm just going to keep going the way I am now, and I'll slow down if I find out anybody's stamping along. Next step will be to glue the granny apple green. Okay, you guys can hear me okay. So Sandy, it's on your end. You need to fix your volume on your end. Okay, that's what I'm, I'm gluing that down. Next is the designer paper. So let me stop right here. It, doesn't this look fabulous together, these fall colors? And this is actually what the state of Maine looks like right now. We have all of these colors in our trees right now and they're beautiful. Okay, first up, I'm going to, to do my die cutting on the strip right here because I want to show you how I did that. And I'm using this die. Let me bring in the big shot. So I am going to bring the big shot in a couple times tonight. Now this is going to go right on the edge. And what I usually make sure of is that each side finishes the same on each end because I want that to be uniform on the on each end. I'm going to run that a couple times only because it's so detailed. And I do have the dye brush that I normally use, um, but I get so much stuff on my counter right now. I'm just going to quickly poke these out. I do like the dye brush. You just roll it along and everything pops out. Just a few more. Okay, so that's what this piece looks like. See how pretty that lacy edge is? So that's with this die from the die set. Now we're going to go ahead and do the stamping for the leaves. And I'm using Cajun Craze with the larger leaf on the Grapefruit Grove. Because this is my main image, I really wanted the ink color to stand out. So that's why I opted to go with the, the uh, darker ink color. And while I have the Cajun Craze, I'm going to add my sentiment on the Whisper White. I guess I'm on my fingers already. Okay, so there's my sentiment. So I can go ahead and put this color away. Next up is Mango Melody. This is the color out of all our new colors that I have the hardest time remembering. I always have to peek over and look. So I did two leaves with that one. Next up is Granny Apple Green. And I'm using the other leaf image. And I've got a little strip here that I'm going to use. So when you guys just cut off an inch on your cardstock, I always keep these pieces because they're easy to add little skinny things to. And then my last stamping will be the gray granite. I can't seem to get away from this color. I use this color on almost every project I make lately. I remember when it first came out, my thoughts were another gray but I love this, this gray here, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to bring the big shot in one more time so I can cut out all the leaves. Now I can go ahead and do more than one at a time. And I've got some washi tape here. I'm going to move that one. Let me see, I'm gonna rip this off. I'm going to move that all the way up there. And then I'm going to add, 
This is the only leaf I'll have to cut a few times because we have the granny apple and the mango melody that uses the same die cut. So you guys do have to watch me cut tonight. Oh, Linda, you love the new gray also. I, I just love this gray. I don't know why, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to add the dye on here right now while I have it. And I'm going to keep cutting so we can move this one out of the way. So I just need to make a couple more passes with the Big Shot. Okay, I think that only leaves two more leaves for us to cut. Okay, now is the Mango Melody. And it's kind of just the veins that are, are showing. But of course, when you add in the shape of the die, the leaf is really cute. Okay, one more. Okay, so we've got two of these. Two of these, one with Grapefruit Grove and two with the white. And let me bring in everything else I need. So now what I'm going to do, I want the glimmer paper to peek under my die shape. So I'm just gonna figure out where I wanna glue that. So it goes about here. I'm going to add some snail. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then I'm going to line this up right over it. So see how cute that is with the glimmer paper peeking out of the die cut holes? It really makes it look so elegant. Next, I'm going to add the Grapefruit Grove. And it's going to be tucked like that. Now, let me bring in the liquid glue. And I'm only putting glue under the stem because I want my leaves to be able to pop. So then you can position them the way you want. And this one's going to go right here. And same thing, I'm just gonna lift up on the leaves. Now next, I'm going to actually trim the ends off of the stems. on these three and this one goes right here so you kind of just layer them wherever you feel like it I mean it's hard to go wrong when you're just layering leaf upon leaf and the last one I'm actually going to use stamping dimensionals on just to make it pop a little bit so let me bring those in and I'm actually using the mini dimensionals. So you can see with the glimmer paper, if you have little tiny pieces left over, what a great way to sneak them under the die cut like that. Okay, that one's popped. And then my last step is going to be to add the glimmer dot, uh, gl uh, yeah, glimmer enamel shapes. And there we go, that's our card for tonight. How quick was that? 
So even if you were stamping and I was not aware of it, you guys can still follow along. You can go back and listen to the video. And uh, my next class will be on Sunday at 7 p.m. Make sure you share my video tonight so I can pick a name to win one of these cards. And on Sunday, I'm actually going to have my monthly Step It Up Sunday where I start with a simple card and then step it up twice to make a fabulous card at the end. So I hope you enjoyed my card for tonight, everyone, and I hope to see you on Sunday. Have a good remainder of the week and good night.